Hey there. Welcome to this lesson on touch-free orgasms by Susanna Weiss. Susanna is a certified sex educator, sex and love coach, and sex and relationship writer. Susanna has spent her career helping people, especially women, learn how to orgasm and expand their orgasmic abilities. As a certified sex educator and sex and love coach, she teaches classes such as Orgasms for Vulva Owners and Living Life Orgasmically, and works with people one-on-one -on -one to help them overcome sexual blockages and feel more pleasure. Her insights are based on her training as a sex educator and somatic sexologist, as well as the method she developed in her own life to go from never experiencing an orgasm with a partner to orgasming in every sexual encounter. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about touch-free orgasms, what they are, and how to achieve them. And then we're going to try out a guided exercise to help us achieve this kind of orgasm. When we talk about touch-free orgasms, we're talking about orgasms that occur with no tactile stimulation, whether that's on your genitals or anywhere else on your body. They may be achieved through other senses, that is, simply through looking at something you find very arousing, like porn, or hearing something you find sexy, like a partner engaging in dirty talk with you. Touch-free orgasm may also be achieved through mental visualization, fantasy, breathwork, or movement. The sensation of a touch-free orgasm feels similar to a touch-based orgasm for some people, but totally different for others. Some people describe these orgasms as more full-bodied, more subtle, more intense, or longer-lasting. Both touch-free and tactile orgasms activate the same regions in the brain responsible for pleasure, but they may feel different physically, depending on your experience with both types. You might be wondering why someone would want a touch-free orgasm as opposed to a tactile one. For starters, it's all about preference, much like most of, if not all, sexual pleasure. Some people with sensitive clitorises, or those who don't enjoy penetration, might find touch-free orgasms to be a viable alternative. Okay, so, the first step toward learning how to achieve a touch-free orgasm is becoming aware of all the potential places in your body where pleasure can exist by locating and attending to sexual energy in less often stimulated parts of the body, you can potentially begin to expand your pleasure receptors. This exercise will teach you how to have a touch-free orgasm using a combination of breath work, movement, fantasy, and visualization. You may want to find a private place where you can lie down in order to do this exercise. Get comfortable and make sure your environment is conducive to a little erotic fantasizing. Feel free to adjust the temperature of the room, maybe light a candle, and get yourself a pillow. Like I mentioned before, sexual desires and pleasure are extremely subjective. What's incredibly erotic and sexy to one person might be a total turnoff to others. So, while I guide you through this erotic visualization exercise, I want you to fill in the specifics with your own desires. All right, let's get started. Tonight, you're going out. You've been asked out to dinner by someone you find very, very desirable. This could be your partner, someone you've had your eye on, a celebrity, or even a fictional character. Make sure that this person, whoever they might be, is someone you're comfortable with someone you can spend the next few minutes fantasizing about. You can tell this person really likes you because they've been texting you often and have been wanting to get together sometime, just you and them. You see a text on your phone from them, inviting you to dinner at your favorite restaurant. Imagine reading those words on the screen and the swell of your chest as excitement fills you up. Your body is filling with a gentle sensation. Maybe your fingers are tingling slightly, or your heart is beginning to beat faster and faster. Imagine what it might feel like to be touched by them, even if it's just their hand on the small of your back, or their cheek grazing yours as they greet you with a kiss on the cheek. 
When you arrive at the restaurant, you both look your best. You're feeling confident about the way you look, and you feel them looking at you often, almost like they can't help it. As you talk, and the both of you relax, the tension between you starts to get palpable. That little smirk on their face, the flush of your cheeks as you try to act natural. You laugh often together, and with every passing second, you get more and more comfortable. At some point, you feel their foot and then their leg press into yours. After that, they reach out and take your hand from across the table. Notice yourself starting to get turned on. Let's pause here for just a moment. Are you feeling any body sensations right now as you lie here engaging in fantasy? Maybe your heart is beating a little faster than normal, or your skin is a little flushed. You might even be feeling desire or arousal already, but it's okay if not. Give your body a quick scan to zero in on and indulge in any of these sensations. Pretend that you have a magnifying glass and you're examining each sensation with it. For instance, if you're feeling a tingliness in your genitals, see if you can't amplify that feeling simply by focusing on it. Thank you for listening. For the entire story, please visit audiodesires.com, your safe space for erotic audio experiences. Do you want a happier, healthier sex life? We have hundreds of stories and guides for every mood, tailored to your lust, your desires, your climax.